Alright, and here's part 3 of my video review of the Singapore Transformers Cybercon Convention and right now we're looking at Transformers United Toys Alright, all of these are the Takara Tomy versions, I believe Alright, let's move on and we see even more toys on display All of these are the Takara Tomy versions of the toys Alright, let me just move on to the next corner over here. And now we have the... Uh, what is this? Oh, we have Transformers collaboration with Disney. We have Donald Duck over here. We have uh, Mickey Mouse, ex including the uh, exclusive versions. And we have Buzz Lightyear. And here we have Transformers collaboration with uh, Nike Free. Over here we see Optimus Prime, Ultra Magnus and Megatron. We also have Transformers collaboration with iPod. Yes, and we see Optimus Prime. Here we see Blaster, we see Ravage, uh, Tigatron, Grimlock, Triptychon Soundwave. And moving on, we have the latest reissue, uh, Encore 21 Sound Blaster. We have the Encore cassettes, we have uh, Brulicus. Alright. Over here we have uh, Devastator hiding in the back. And now we have Alternative. Here we see Megatron, Cliff Jumper, Optimus Prime. Orochi, Starscream, Bumblebee, and the rest. And moving on to this section, we see the uh, model kits of uh, Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. And here, these are the Lucky Draw exclusive Go Chrome Megatron, Voyager Megatron, and Go Chrome Voyager Sentinel Prime. These are Lucky Draw exclusive, so I think they are limited to 50 RPs in the world. Alright, here we see them on display. Moving forward. Right now, I would just say the. Um, the most exciting part of this, sorry, the most exciting part of today's review right now we have right here is the Transformers Prime Japanese release by Takara Tomy. So right now we here see the Japanese release of Megatron. Yes, it's Mega, uh, Megatron can transform. We see the Japanese packaging of Optimus Prime. All right, here's Optimus Prime in his vehicle mode, and we see Bumblebee, Bumblebee with his Micron, and we see Bumblebee is packaged in a box. So the Japanese packaging is very very different from Hasbro, being the fact that it is actually packaged in a box. And here we see Ratchet with his uh, Micron, Ratchet in vehicle mode, which is Skywarp, which is actually the same mode as what you get from uh, the first edition Starscream, just a recolor. And we see Cliff Jumper over here. And uh, as well, what most fans are concerned about, yes, it is confirmed that these are sticker on. So we see the red on Ratchet are uh, all sticker ons, uh, same as the chrome on the blades, unfortunately. And uh, we look at Cliff Jumper, the red on his shoulder pads are stickers as well. For Bumblebee, um, oh gosh, the black straps on him are stickered, stickerons. All right, moving forward here, we see more microns. All right, and we see Bumblebee with a combination of microns that can be inserted on him. As you can see, these Transformers have a lot of pots on them, and you see Optimus Prime is glory with his combined, uh, combined weapons. So actually, he looks really, really nice. Uh, as we can see, this chrome part, the silver part on his uh, thigh is actually sticker on, sticker chrome as well. Uh, same for Megatron, we see a lot of sticker chrome on his uh, crotch piece and his waist. And we see Megatron with his weapons. And here, this is what we have upcoming. And moving forward right now, we see... We see a very, very huge Transformers uh, Optimus Prime display. I'm just going to move forward to the Optimus Prime display so that you know, we can get a bigger look, a better look at what's going on. So here we see this 22 feet tall Optimus Prime. Very, very massive, very, very big. As you can see, a human size comparison with him, he is massive. He is just absolutely big. And right now, let's take a look. Yes, Optimus Prime. So uh, this is uh, all there is to CyberCon, uh, Singapore uh, CyberCon convention. So here's Charles signing off with another video review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do stay tuned to my channels for more reviews next time.